Direct-to-consumer online hearing aid companies love to say that their hearing aids are custom programmed for you based on your hearing loss, and then they send those devices to you in the mail. So in this video, I'm going to explore whether or not online hearing aids can actually be custom programmed. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. In the past few years, there has been an explosion of direct-to-consumer hearing aids that you can purchase online, as if the FDA already established the guidelines for over-the-counter hearing aids. But legalities aside, online hearing aids can serve a very important role in the treatment of hearing loss due to increased accessibility and affordability. For instance, if you live in a very remote area where you do not have easy access to go in and see a hearing care professional, it can be a lifesaver to actually be able to order hearing aids online and all you have to do is get to a post office where you can get devices within a matter of days. And what about affordability? Well, online hearing aid companies typically offer little to no services to their customers, which keeps their overhead expenses really low. And the hearing aids that they sell are often very low in technology, which means that you get them at a much lower price. Now, I'm actually a big fan of online hearing aids because I believe that everybody deserves to have access to hearing treatment. But the one thing that confuses me is when these online hearing aid companies say that they can custom program your hearing aids and send them to you in the mail. To understand why this confuses me, you really have to understand the five different ways that hearing aids can be programmed. The first example is just simple generic programming of a hearing aid or an amplifier. This is when a hearing aid is preset with a certain amount of amplification and you can basically increase or decrease the volume. This is what the vast majority of devices that are sold online can actually do. Second is what I call generic self-adjusting. This is when you have a hearing aid that has a generic amount of amplification programmed into it, but you actually get access to an equalizer, usually through a smartphone, so you can make some simple adjustments yourself. Third is what I like to call in situ first fit. This is when you take the devices that you've ordered online, you put them in your ears, connect them to a smartphone, and then take a self-administered hearing test. At the end of the hearing test, the app will actually make adjustments to the programming based on the results. Fourth is what I like to call manufacturer first fit. This is when you take an online hearing test or you go and get a professional hearing test and send those results off to the company that you're purchasing these devices from. They will then take that information, upload it into the software for those hearing aids, and the hearing aids will create an estimate based on your test results. They will then send those devices to you in the mail for you to start wearing. And fifth is what we call custom hearing aid programming. This is when you take a professional hearing test and a hearing loss prescription is created based on the results of your test. You then perform what is called real ear measurement to verify that you are receiving the proper amount of amplification with your hearing aids as they are being custom programmed while they're actually in your ears. This allows you to take your specific ear canal size and shape into account when doing programming. Now, if you do not know what real ear measurement is or you just need a refresher, make sure that you check out my video that I will link in the description because this is possibly the most important thing that you need to understand when it comes to hearing aids. So all that being said, if true custom programming requires real ear measurement, how can you receive truly custom programmed hearing aids in the mail? The answer is you can't. You cannot get a hearing aid custom programmed unless that hearing aid has been verified using real ear measurement. While some online hearing aid companies may consider entering an audiogram into their programming software or giving you an app that has a few equalizer bands to be considered custom programmed, I do not agree. During the heart of the COVID-19 pandemic, when patients really could not come into the clinic to receive their hearing aids, I attempted to do some first fit programming by just entering their audiogram into the manufacturer's software, create an estimate for the amount of amplification that they would need, and then sending those devices to these patients in the mail. On top of that, I was also able to access their programming through remote care software so I could make adjustments to their programming without them coming into my office. So how well did this work? Well, quite frankly, it was a disaster. I mean, I would be sending patients these hearing aids, and while it would give them some benefit, everybody was giving completely different reactions based on what I would experience when I actually fit patients properly inside of my office using real ear measurement. 
Eventually, once the pandemic kind of settled down a little bit, I had these patients come back into my office so I could actually custom program their hearing aids using real ear measurement. And you want to know what the result was? The result was that every single one of these patients went from having just a little bit of benefit with their hearing aids to having a massive amount of benefit with their hearing aids. This is why real ear measurement is so critical, because unless I can put these little probe microphone tubes deep inside of your ear canals along with your hearing aids and measure the amount of amplification that those hearing aids are giving you, then I have no idea what I'm actually doing. And this procedure cannot be completed unless you are sitting in front of my specialized equipment inside of my office. Trying to buy custom programmed hearing aids online is a lot like trying to get a pair of pants custom tailored for you without ever actually going to a tailor where they can actually do measurements to see if those pants need to be altered in a certain way. Yet this does not stop direct-to-consumer online hearing aid companies from telling you that the devices that you buy off of their website will come to you in the mail custom programmed. Basically, they are just taking advantage of certain keywords to make you think that your hearing aids are properly programmed to treat your hearing loss. And you know what? They're not, because it's impossible. Never once in my career have I ever identified a hearing aid that has perfectly matched a patient's hearing loss prescription without custom adjusting it using real ear measurement. And I'm not just talking about hearing aids that cost a few hundred bucks online. I'm talking about the absolute best, most expensive hearing aids on the market. Now to be fair, maybe it's just me. Maybe I have no clue what I'm doing. Maybe I'm just really bad at paying attention to patient feedback when I'm making adjustments to the hearing aids. Maybe all the schooling and training and experience that I've gained over the past nine years is still not enough for me to just know if your hearing loss prescription is being met without verifying it. Or maybe it's just these direct-to-consumer online hearing aid companies using these keywords like custom programmed to get you to buy their hearing aids. I'll let you decide. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.